Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. It's Obamacare Day 2. And of course, Obama is meeting with the Democrats to find out why the Republicans are being such obstructionists. Because, of course, even though Obamacare was down and they have record numbers to the site, wait a minute, did anybody sign up on it? Well, for now, we're going to bring all the on with comments on the headlines of today. Okay, so Obamacare had record numbers. <laughs> That's what they told us yesterday. Well, they they said as many as 20 million people were trying to get online, which was what was causing a problem. No, first of all, it never worked to begin with. They said the total was 1.4 million that tried to get uh, information, and of that 1.4 million, they think that they were more uh, they 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 were tracking ISPs, and since they were coming from the same areas, you can assume it was the same people that were wanting something for nothing, kept trying to get on the line. And as they said, not one single person was able to sign up yesterday because the system did not work. Mm -hmm. And they were not talking 1.4 million in a system, spread, or dividing that among 16 main offices and 150 small offices, which means there was no one going to those things, mm -hmm. and it couldn't handle no one. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, because the Republicans, they didn't, they were making fun at this morning, I put on Facebook, that the Republicans set an all-time Guinness world record for not caving in for as long as they have not caved in. But don't worry, everyone expects the Republicans will cave into Obama, even though by caving into Obama means they also cave in on the debt ceiling. They're going to get nothing. They got nothing the last time, and the Democrats are demanding to put back all of the cuts that were done to the health, to the social programs in this nation. Well, they are. Yeah, they're gonna, and they want the taxes raised on the wealthy. They want all of this, and they expect to get it all in because once the Republicans cave, they have nothing to bargain with, folks. And we are all officially in a one-party political system. Yeah, it's uh, it's what Obama wants. It's it's his way or the highway. This is what one of the network reporters said yesterday. Yeah, for, for Jay Carney. He wanted to know, why is the president even bothering with the House of Representatives? Because they're no longer relevant because the executive branch and Senate control this nation, not the House now. And war on illegal drugs is failing the study. Uh, yeah, that's what the, the problem is. The people that say it's failing are the people that want drug use. They're saying, you can make lots of money by legally selling drugs. Well, first of all, there are no countries in the world that have legalized drugs that have, make a profit off of it, and the legalization of the drugs has simply made the drug problem worse in those countries, because now where they basically would, get, you know, they get them off the streets, go to, go to some of those Scandinavian countries, or, uh, or Denmark, or, you know, or Germany, and see the drug people sitting on the side of the road now, trying to get more money for drugs. Mm -hmm. And the U.S. Republican hard right and shut down fight. Well, it basically, there is no hard right. There is the people that want the government to stop spending money. That is. Oh, that's the, right. the hard right. They don't want to. They spend want money. the government. Okay, everybody can. Okay, these people actually went to school and they're very educated and they're small business people. The people at the top of the Republican Party tend to be old, old world Republican politicians. They basically will agree to spending anything you want. They don't like government cutbacks because they stay in their jobs by handouts. When they have the handouts taken from them, they're not going to hold their jobs. Of course, 39 of them are going to hold their jobs. Okay, by November, there'll be enough recall elections to change the face of the Republican Party leadership, and they all know it. That's what they're scared of at the moment. And Egypt returns $2 billion to Qatar in sign of growing tensions. Because they got Morrissey went and got the $2 billion. And it was so that basically the, the Muslim Brotherhood could build up a military force to strike down Israel, and that was not a good idea. And Republicans were at fault for today's Obamacare sign-up failure. Well, that's what they said. What? The Republicans cut funding funding back, and by cutting funding back, basically it stopped. They the, it caused a glitch in the system. Well, no, Obama had basically put into everything illegally enough money to fund Obamacare and all its parts for a year. The problem is, Obama basically believed his own rhetoric and didn't realize that what the people were saying was the truth and they went through the money for Obamacare for a year the first week that they started working on the system. What? 
Yeah. How they, do they do they that? Need, they, Obama needs another thirty billion dollars to make this thing work, and he's not going to. get Well, he wasn't going to get it. The Republicans are going to give it to him now, of course. Oh yeah, because otherwise it's their fault. It's their fault. I mean, yeah. here it is. Uh, here I come into this morning. What's the difference between a Democrat and a Republican? What? If it's a battle that the, the Democrats think is worthy, they will fight no matter what. If it's a battle the Republicans think is worthy, they don't have the backbone to stand up for it. They'll cave every time. Mm -hmm. And San Francisco passes law to prohibit immigrant holds. Oh yeah, which means you can no longer arrest. And uh, if you're here illegally, you got a free pass to. Um, I, I did hear one guy said, "Oh, he said, I guess. I mean, I can go rape every teenage girl I want to now because the uh, what? Well, they mean, but we're no longer going to be jailed. There's no crime that they can commit oh. that will jail them. You can kill people. You can walk into a bank, kill every single person in a bank, and you can't arrest me because the law says I can't be touched because I'm an illegal immigrant." And Muammar's Moscow mother load, Russian tabloid says $27 billion hidden in the airport. Isn't that something? They can't get, they stole money and can't get it out. It's, it, it's in um, negotiables and in gold and stuff, and they can't get it out of the airport. So it's hidden somewhere on the grounds of the airport. What? Yeah. Well, because there's a lot of wealthy people in the Soviet hierarchy that basically have been caught with their fingers in the till. They escaped, but they couldn't take the money with them. Uh, and I wonder where it is. Twenty-seven well, no, like, billion dollars? Oh my God! Yeah, like most people don't realize that Nanette Fabre, who's the aunt of Shelley Fabre, was the granddaughter of the great Fabergé who did the Fabergé eggs. I remember when I was little, uh, they were telling uh, my parents knew Milton Berle, especially my grandmother, because she used to be one of the Stooges for him in the audience. We'd be in Los Angeles and New York. She said that. Now, Nanette Fabre said that her and her brothers, which her brother actually founded Fabergé um, uh, cosmetic line, they said they were playing in an attic and they opened up this Russian box and then they, and they said, oh, hey, hey, looky, here's some, here's some eggs, here's some toys. And uh, they then took the toy, they took the box with the toys and they said their father, who knew what they were, almost had a stroke. He said, those are, those are dad's eggs. Where did they come from? Because Daddy had smuggled them out of Russia during the revolution. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're called. They're basically treasuries, treasures of the Russian government, and they had a whole case full of them. Ooh. Anybody want to guess where the Fabergé cosmetic fortune came from? Mm -hmm. And Navy officials push for security clearance changes. Okay. I am an officer. I have Pentagon clearance. I couldn't get onto a naval facility in the entire United States without being checked out. And they weren't checking out people going in. You know what? They were, they were told not to because they got minorities on the base. We're also talking, I know Marine Corps officers that had their guns taken from them because, well, we can't have loaded guns on this military base. They're there to protect the base and they had their handguns taken from them. What? Yeah, no handguns allowed on the this? base. They're supposed to be protecting it. Not anymore. And some this young... is Obama's universe, folks. Oh yeah, they're going to go hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, well no, they're going to get killed just like they did. Yeah, and some young migrants in Laredo protest released. Oh yeah, they um, basically the Obama is just allowing, you can break all the laws you want to now and basically it doesn't make any difference. You can come across the border as you choose. You can bring drugs across the border as you choose. If you want to, you know, if you, one guy said this morning, if you want to bring a nuclear weapon across, he doesn't give a damn because you're, we want you people because black voters are getting pissed off at us and they're not going to vote for us anymore. So you're oh going gosh. to vote for us. Well, and until they find out the minor problem is they're actually more socially conservative than Afro-Americans. They don't believe in abortion and they don't believe in gay rights. It, so socialists don't believe in abortion and gay rights, folks. Mm. And it has been officially determined that the Republicans pushed the Titanic into the iceberg. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the whole well, Where is thing. that one from? Well, because they have decided that uh, Republicans are guilty for everything since the dawn of time. At least they didn't say George Bush was the instigator of it, which it's is generally what they say is George Bush and Republicans. He usually does. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, you either have to say yes or no.